Welcome in. We are bringing you team coverage of the aftermath of deadly tornadoes in Middle Tennessee. You're looking at drone video of the conditions in Madison right along Nesbitt Lane. Still hard to see. Our mm -hmm. Lauren Lowry joins us now from Madison. And Lauren, it's devastating out there, and you've been telling stories all day long. Yeah, we've seen more than 156 power poles snapped across Nashville, many of them right behind me on Nesbitt Lane. NES crews are hard at work. They've been here for hours. They continue to work into the night with their bucket trucks and all their efforts to raise power lines, get the poles back into the ground and restore power to people in this area. I've got meteorologist Cruz Medina with me right now. Cruz, you were such an important part of our coverage on Saturday. You and our chief meteorologist Lisa Spencer telling people to take cover and to really find places that would be safe for them. And all across Nesbitt Lane, we see evidence of why that is so important. I can make an example out of almost every house on this exact street. We walked it up and down earlier. We saw mobile homes flipped. Yeah. Uh, it's literally not safe at all. And we tell people that. I know that's terrifying Just for someone to tell you to yeah. get out of your house in the middle of, you know, possibly a tornado coming your direction. It is terrifying, but a mobile home is not safe. And then I want to make an example out of this house uh, behind me here. So one of the upstairs rooms was actually peeled off. It yeah, leads to the outside like of the house. It looks like a house. Right. But the bottom of the house is basically untouched. Mm -hmm. So if someone was in that lower interior room, this is a closet. It's a bathroom. Uh, whatever that looks like in your house, each house has something different, right? Whatever that looks like. That interior room away from windows, that is the safe place to be. Never on the second story, and that's a prime right. example right. of why you should not be up there. Exactly, and we heard you say words on Saturday that I know I haven't really heard in tornado coverage. The words catastrophic tornado and emergency. Emergency, when, it put, when you were connecting it to tornadoes, why were those words so important? Well, the tornado emergency, that's something that's rarely issued by the National Weather Service, so when they use that wording, it triggers something in you. It's alarming, right? right? You're not used to hearing that. So you're like, wait, what is that? Mm -hmm. And that's what they were trying to achieve. I mean, we saw this thing on the ground. We saw the explosions. Uh, one of them was in the right. NES substation right behind these houses that we're showing you here. So with all of that damage going on, this was a very highly populated area. We knew it was going to be bad. Mm -hmm. And now being here on the ground, this is the confirmation right. of exactly what I feared. Yeah, this is the reminder of how important it is to take seriously when our team tells you to take cover, no doubt.